Hello and welcome to today's episode of Living the Life. Yes, and I have to say hello in my local dialect. Ogoga. I hope you have a bowl of pounded yam and a goosey soup to step down oh, as you this enjoy is the this show. Abigail's feed farm goals are never achieved. I just said pounded for this yam. particular episode, not as if they should eat, you know, they should just keep eating anyhow. We still have I me. Mean, we're fit fam. We're fit fam. <laughs> we're fit fam. No, no, no. I, I know that sometimes it's tough. There are days when you say, okay, these fruits, eh, stay first. Then I'll eat the to have energy. But there has Basically to be consistency. No, no. Ah, you balanced just, diet. You can't just eat fruits today then tomorrow. There's, starch, yeah. there, there's still starch in the whole balanced diet. There's still for energy. But God, actually, I yes, I you. know, I, 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 <laughs> I, I admit, sometimes it's tough, but we should learn to stay on track. And that's why we're about to help each other, okay. you know, stay on track. <laughs> Need some inspiration to stay on target? We've got our top three Feed Fam Instagram pages coming up after this break. Stick around. Glad to see you're still here. Ready for it? Here we come. Our top three Fit Fam Instagram pages. Woo! <laughs> All right, so I'll go number one you first. Go first, yes. Mm -hmm. Number one is faithful workouts, where faith meets fitness. That's a nice one. It's a faith-based faith online fitness community to strengthen your mind, body, and soul. It doesn't get better than that. What you'll get? hundreds of recipes, workouts, Bible studies, and more. They cater to your whole well-being. I like it. I love it. Number two, the outdoor tribe. If you live in Abuja, don't just sit and cool your heels. Get out there and burn some fat. What you'll find, they pick up plastic waste along the trail so they help to conserve the environment. It's an unspoken rule. You hike with the outdoor tribe, you pack your trash. No dropping empty bottles as you, as you hike. They create a sense of community that lasts beyond the hike, fostering bonding. And finally, number three. Yes, number three. Nutri Heat Cafe. Looking for an encouraging partner in your diet corner? Nutri Heat Cafe might just be the page for you. It promises meal choices that tempt your appetite, but does your body a whole lot of good. Healthy is the name of the game. Guaranteed highlight, food inspiration with a capital F. <laughs> I really love, I mean, it's, the, the pages are fun. I mm -hmm. mean, I'm, uh, I know that faithful workouts, I love the part of the Bible studies. I think it makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. So while you're talking health, you're still talking. So it's like an all-round yes, kind yes. of thing. Yes, yes. So it, it makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. um, you should join them, the outdoor <laughs> tribe, actually. Yes, it's, I think they do. It's I, think more, I think more Nigerians or Abujans or anybody should join <laughs> that. Because I really hate that thing of where people just toss things all yeah, over the place. I, I, I can't stand trash. Mm, mm -hmm. So everybody should go with them so that they begin to inculcate that habit of picking things up or, you know, finding a way to sort out your trash instead of littering the entire environment. Yeah, I think, so. I think they're doing a great job. Mm -hmm. uh, Nutri Heat Cafe, too, is one a nice one I love because you're going to just see the food calling you. Come, come, and come. It's colorful. Yes, I and think. then it's healthy. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. She said, by the way, she'll be in here. I um, told you, <laughs> very you like food. I, yeah, I love food. Yeah. Because food... Food, food is good, but healthy food is good. Let's just make it healthy food. Food for the belly, belly for the belly. <laughs> Sounds too tough to stick, around, stick out? Well, Rose, I know didn't think so. Her radical transformation story is coming to you right after this. She has had three cesarean sections and has had to deal with the extra weight that comes with the territory. 
<laughs> if you thought it was impossible to get back your pre-pregnancy shape, well, think again, because Rose Anno, a nutritionist and founder of Nutri Heat Cafe, is here to tell us how she did it by simply eating healthy. You're welcome once again. Thank Last you. time we enjoyed your interviews was awesome. And we're back again with more questions. Thank you for having me back. Yes, but this time on your body, I mean, it, you, you, you had three uh, CSs. Yes, I did. And look at the way <laughs> you are now. <laughs> I'm like, how did you do it? I mean, you had gained so much weight from your pictures when you sent us um, the pictures when after you had your, uh, the last baby. Yeah. I'm like, how did this woman move from here to here? I can't believe it. I want to find out. How did it happen? So I think first is determination. I was determined to lose that weight. I knew that was not me. I can't, I can't live with that weight. I couldn't see myself being that fat. So I had to start working out immediately, work out and eat the right meals. I just kept eating healthy. And as I say, when it comes to this fit fan life, it has to be your way of life. You mm. just have to make a way of life. It's not like you won't eat other things, but let the vegetables, the fruits be more of what you oh, eat. Okay, we'll come, uh, we'll go <laughs> deep, deep into that. Okay. How much did you actually weigh? Because the pictures really, as if it's, you're not the person. Start like, I got to 96. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I weighed that much. So people that knew me before that period, when they see me, they'll pass. Like, I have to reintroduce myself. That oh this my is goodness. me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, no way. What happened to you, so? So, so what, what was your turning point? Because you're saying you couldn't live with it. So what was, what sparked that? Uh, I had, I had beautiful clothes I couldn't wear. <laughs> like I needed to <laughs> keep shopping all over again. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, when it's not you, I wasn't confident of myself. Mm. I just didn't like the body I was in. So I just kept working out and eating right to go back to what I wanted to be. So now that you are looking this good, <laughs> because I know a lot of people yeah. have had this CS, it kind of gives you that extra exactly. pouch. You have exactly. this baggage hanging over. Mm -hmm. And some have retorted, okay, I have to do surgery. I have to t talk the tummy in. But somehow you have <laughs> worked it out. So now I want you to tell me how you did that specifically. So, you know, there's a myth, like people say, when you have surgery, you have to wait six months, one yes. year before working out because of the surgery and all. Yeah. Where even my doctors said, you have to start working immediately. Oh. So I was even tying my tummy, but yeah. not down there. I hit the gym immediately. I remember mm. when I had my first child, the owner of Agora Hotel, when he saw me at the gym, he had to call his wife <laughs> because they stay in the same company. Oh, okay. He said, come and look at this woman, look at her baby. So in the morning, I'm there with my baby and the nanny while I'm working out. Hmm. So the man was really encouraged. In fact, as of 2009, he gave the baby 10,000 Oh my because goodness. Because of how, <laughs> how pleased he was with the fact that I had to come out this early to work out just to get my body back. I, in fact, I don't think I thought of surgery because I didn't even have the money to do the mm. surgery. So I knew I needed to work out to get that body. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. So now, uh, I know you, you uh, mentioned at the beginning about eating right as well. Yeah. What, what kind of food did you eat and how often? Now, I, I can afford to eat pound a yam, but it's not oh. going to be like, it's like once in a week thing I do. Yeah. I cheat once in a while. In fact, this Christmas I ate, but okay. I knew I needed to work out to mm. go back to. I have my weight that I work with right now. Okay. So once I keep checking and I find out that I've added a bit, I continue my exercise. I do exercise every day, like every morning. Okay. So basically what I do is weekdays, because of school runs, mm -hmm. I do my jogging or walking for six kilometers every morning. Wow. Then weekends, I do 10 kilometers. So I go that far. I just keep, it's a part of me. So I just keep doing that and for me now, it's like my lifestyle, it's yes, my way of life, so yes. it's just fun. It's that's fun really instead of stressful for me. The, that's the part. I, I, I believe that it should be fun. Yeah, it's Because sometimes fun. we start workouts. Mm -hmm. I personally, I claim I love to dance a lot to just keep fit. But sometimes you start uh, maybe for a week, yeah. and then when you, your schedule be becomes very, very busy, maybe for a weekend, no dance, no exercise. Trust me, I have a very tight schedule. Yeah. Like, okay, so, so no exercise. <laughs> because, because on my alarm clock, I have set for 4.50. Mm. 
So I use 10 mm -hmm. minutes to wear my clothes, my gym or uh, worker yeah. clothes. Yes. I hit the road at 5 a.m. Then mm. walk, do my six kilometer walk. I already timed myself. I have yeah. my watch. I get back because my first son has to be in school before 7 a.m. classes. Whew. And I do the school runs. So I have to get back, make food. We do our money devotion because we must pray before leaving the house. Yes. So it's so tight, that mm. money. But I have to get all these things done, leave my house at 6.45 to go drop the kids in school. Ha! So, <laughs> so nothing can be tighter than that. Yes. But I still have to do my workout. Mm, I think um, it's just being committed, like yes, you said. Yes, it's being committed. You're you plan committed it. And Although it's not like I do it every day. Yes. Like sometimes in a week, I do five times in a week. There yes. are times where I'm so tired. Like yesterday, I got back really late. I had to just sleep. I didn't wake up early today mm -hmm. for the workout. I yes. did everything, but I didn't do, but I did my exercise in the house. I still have like the aerobics I do at home. So sometimes from the workout, I come back and do the aerobics before other things. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it looks so tedious, but then it's giving us the results. <laughs> I will like, play my music. I play my music and it's, do my workout. So oh, it's, I it's think it's fun. It's I really think I fun. like the music part. Mm -hmm. So it just, mm -hmm. you know, you're enjoying music, yes. you know, it has to be fun. It's if fun. not, because a lot of women <laughs> that really, really want to, you know, get back their bodies after yeah. this, I mean, after surgery and delivery. But this is it. She has done it, guys. So we can do it. Exactly. <laughs> we can do it. Exactly. So for, for women, like I said earlier, uh, who want to start this, yeah. if you can say in a few lines, the basic steps, I mean, especially after delivery, what and what can they do quickly? Okay, so I would advise that they stop eating that heavy food because most women just think you need to eat heavy for the baby, but yes. it doesn't really work that mm, way. Mm. So you have to start watching it immediately. immediately. Even your tummy, you have to start. <laughs> Do little exercise, not like the rigorous ones. Just yeah. take it easy and with time you see yourself increasing. Mm. So, so. Awesome. So it's starting immediately, yeah, not starting waiting until some years. Not wait, not wait. six months, <laughs> one year. No, it doesn't work that way. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. I enjoyed Thanks this for time having me around. You. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you're inspired to try again where you failed. I sure am. Anything is possible. You've got to believe and stay the course. And to ginger your newfound swagger, here is an expose on healthy benefits of fruits. Enjoy. <laughs> So my favorite fruits are, <laughs> I mean, they give us in this now. So my favorite fruits are, I like bananas. Okay. I like pineapples. Mm. I've never tasted pomegranates before. Yeah. If I you know, know where I can find some around this climb, let Happen me know. Too. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but it's good uh, sometimes Healthy. to replace, yeah. You know, the temptation, I think, sometimes it's just easier to... Mm. If it's fruits, we need to take fruits. It's easier to uh, maybe blend them for me than chewing them as they are. Really? For me. I think the work is in the blending, actually. No, but then when you blend, it just goes smoothly. You're not having to chew anything. Yeah, one man's meat is another man's really? I, mean, I tried to tell me you want you want if I brought uh, raw fruits here, like with, without... I'll start just eating got, it. I'll take the smoothie. 
I'm not saying I won't take the smoothie <laughs> yeah, if you no, make it. You will make it and oh, I'll, I'll take make it. it. <laughs> the, but I mean, the fruits are right there. And the thing about fruits is that mm -hmm. they're just easy to just bite. And yeah, and they're a good snack, yeah. especially for exactly. I mean, when you're at work. When you, I mean, you should yeah. have them in your, in your bag somewhere yeah. around. But people just think that something like, like pounded yam is better. <laughs> I suspect people like you. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not that. No, I, I, I mean. Ah, oh, don't quarrel. Okay. I am not that bad. No, you're not. I take. Fruit, I take it. I back. take fruit almost every day. Like and it. I don't. I'm the one. So you should learn from me. Yeah, I should. You should. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Yeah, but fruit are, um, apology accepted. <laughs> anyway, staying healthy isn't just about adopting a fad. The reverse can cost us way more than we bargain for. Don't take my word for it. Listen to the experts in the next piece. Today we're going to be talking to you about obesity, Dr. Mego. Yeah. What's obesity? So, <laughs> obesity is actually an excessive accumulation of fat in individuals such that it begins to pose a threat to health. The yeah. criteria that we use to judge is called the BMI, the Body Mass Index. Mm. It measures your height your weight for your height. Okay. So if you have anything above 25, it means that you're overweight. Anything above 30, it means that you're obese. So yeah. once it gets to 25, I mean, everyone should begin to yeah. start working on it and then. Yeah, true. Being overweight is something that leaves you prone to so many chronic diseases that, I mean, you could have avoided diabetes, heart disease, even cancer. Yeah. And so um, it's important to start early to make the life, the right lifestyle changes and choices that will ensure that you are healthy in and out. So you want to eat a balanced diet. Yeah. Eat veggies, eat fruits, you know, grains and protein, lean meat and stuff like that. And then you want to be active, you want to move. So exercise, whatever it is. I mean, for me, for example, I was just telling you before we started that after my second baby, I actually became 89 kg. And this was someone, I, at a point in my life, I was 58 kg, so you can <laughs> imagine. I had to get a personal trainer at some point. So you see, you might not be able to do that or you might not want to do that, but whatever you need to do to get the weight down, the support system usually helps. Some of us go to the gym. Some of us walk around. If you're a more disciplined person, I can do it on your own. But every day, make sure that you're doing stuff that is keeping you active and getting um, the weight down. Is there all cookies and um, candy, chocolate, yeah. and all those juicy, sweet things? Yeah. You could replace that with the natural ones, fruits. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think God intentionally placed fruits yeah, there for and us. And then we decided to just take out the sweets from them and, and make it into one big junk of sugar leave, and just and leave the rest, down it daily. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we should take fruit because it doesn't just contain sugar, it contains fibers, yeah. contains rough edges. We could also yeah. help the digestion. So yes. you don't get as much sugar as you as get you from these sweet yes, things. And then instead of ice cream, for example, you can do yogurt. yogurt, yogurt instead of fried yeah. chicken, you can do grilled. Chicken. And then what if I go to one nice party like this mm -hmm. and there's just one great spread, mm -hmm. one buffet like this, <laughs> <laughs> and you say that I'm watching my weight and I shouldn't do anything about it. What can I do to, to on such a day? Well, I don't think you can ever go wrong with salad. So I think you should go for salad. Better still, you could just take it without the dressing and yeah. then take a lot of it. It's also going to help to um, reduce the amount of food you're going to take afterwards. You feel sure. a little bit full yeah, and sure. reduce what you take afterwards. Yeah. Then you should take a lot of water yeah. while you're eating. Lots Even before you eat, take a lot of water because it will also help fill your tummy a little bit and then you don't eat as much as you'd have eaten sure. when you hadn't taken water. Sure. And then sure. when you're shopping, mm -hmm. <laughs> try not to ever shop when you're hungry. You end up buying a lot of junk. So when when you're, you're full already, you've eaten, and you can stay focused and buy what you really need to buy. Mm -hmm. And then you stay away from cookie and candies mm -hmm. and things like what we've discussed. And please don't eat and watch TV at the same time. You just keep eating and eating and you don't know when you're going wrong. I think another thing is that people should learn to um, take their dinner early. It's not really advisable for people to eat uh, late. The reason is that, um, you know, our body has a rhythm that it functions with towards the evening times our body tends to slow down even our stomach the intestine tends to slow down so when we eat late at night mm -hmm. all right the movement of this food okay. is actually slowed down so the body keeps on absorbing mm -hmm. absorbing absor absorbing so these are another very important um, role that we have to play in yeah. terms of um, losing weight and coming to that healthy weight that we need to be don't be too hard on yourself, all right? You try the first time, you try to lose weight, you try to exercise, and you're not getting to that um, goal that you've set for yourself in terms of your weight. Don't be too hard on yourself. You didn't just become a full-grown, fledged overnight. person overnight. You took time. Eat right every day, exercise every day, all right? And then with that, in a short time, you're going to be where you want to be. 
So with that, we've come to the end of today's episode um, on Doctors in the House. So until next time, see ya. Abigail, we need to go and check our BMI. Yes, we should. Because we don't know. Do you know your own? <laughs> no, I don't. We have to go and check so we know whether yeah. we are healthy or not. Mm, mm. I think we should. We should. <laughs> you know, something is, uh, she said, don't shop while you're hungry, too. You know, keeping things also that you know you don't need. If you know you're not supposed to eat all the candies, don't keep them in the house. Sometimes we just say, oh, let's just buy it and keep it. As long as your eye sees it, there's no how you won't be tempted to eat it. for the children. For the children. That's what I'm saying. You know, <laughs> let's just keep it. Maybe the children might need it. But they should take up that instead. Yes, salad. Well, okay. Without dressing. <laughs> I don't know. Without dressing, that's like punishment <laughs> for them. <laughs> but you know, it's been a great show. Yes. Um, your interview with um, Rose, um, Anno. Rose Anno, one yeah. of the things, I mean, she, she answered, not a question to me, but if this lady is watching anywhere, mm -hmm. she will get her answer. Mm -hmm. I remember some years ago, I think I took my son for um, immunization mm -hmm. and they were in the health center. Mm -hmm. So there were these women and they were saying stuff about that any woman that has had CS and put on weight, there is no way hmm. she can ever lose the weight. That's what that they it's say. a lie. And all of that. I'm like, but well, what if they exercise? I mean, they, they look scary, <laughs> so I had to be very humble in my submission. Yeah. So like, what if they exercise? Mm -hmm. When they lose the weight, they say, hey, when they exercise, that's what I'm it telling doesn't you. matter how they exercise. But it will never go down. Eh? Yes, yes, that that's how the belly That the people belly are just stay. cheating them by telling them to exercise. <laughs> I just kept quiet. <laughs> I, I hope right now <laughs> she's watching to see someone who's had three. Mm -hmm. Three, three kids. I'm not just... I'm just back in shape. Ah. I think there is a myth that people hold on to, which just keeps them in bondage, for lack of another word. Yeah? We've seen it today that it's possible mm -hmm. to get back your pre-pregnancy body. You can get it back. Mm -hmm. It's possible. It is. Somebody has done it. People are doing it. So People are doing it. <laughs> yeah. <so>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody should tell me that it's not possible. With no. God, all, all things, things are, are possible. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to get going. Time's up. But you can be sure there's always more right here on Living the Life. So join us on the next episode. Until then, eat healthy and stay full of life. Bye-bye, Sonoritas. Bye-bye. Let me go kiss. <laughs>